<laughs> and I'm cheesing for a reason. <laughs> oh, she got bars. She got bars. Let me turn this off first. Girl, I'm so excited. Fancy beauty supposed. I'm so excited. Y'all know. <laughs> For years, literally, years, I have been saying, I'm moving back to Georgia. I'm going to get there. One day, you watch, I'm going to be there. I'm going to get to Georgia. I'm moving back to Georgia. I'm moving back to Georgia. Hey, hey, I'm moving back to Georgia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. When I tell you that I have prayed. Okay, y'all know that's been rocking with me for a minute. Y'all know, doggone well. And I know y'all got tired of me saying it. That girl ain't going back no dang on Georgia. She ain't going nowhere because my friends say that. They, Gina, you've been out there too long. You ain't going nowhere. You might as well forget about it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, I'm going back to Georgia. Hey, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going back to Georgia. Hey! Hey! So I'm going to take y'all with me. We're going to do the packing um, process. We I'm going to take y'all on all of that. Oh, you have to come with me on this one, Pumpkin. You have to. Because y'all been with me through everything else. Yes, you have. So I'm taking you with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. This ain't no different than anything else. <laughs> yep, that's who y'all subscribe to. This crazy girl right here. <laughs> so I'm going to start in the basement. And when I tell you that God has been just placing my feet every which way I need to go. When I was trying to go this way, he was like, uh-uh, my girl, come go this way. I want you to go this way. And I gave it all over to him. I gave it all over to him because I ain't want to make no mistakes. And every time something goes through, like a confirmation, and it's just like, oh, Okay, that's what you, okay, that's what you was doing. This is why you did that. <sighs> Yo, I can't thank him enough. Okay, so like I said, I need to start down here in the basement first. Most everything is already kind of sort of packed. So really the only thing I need to do is take down... You know, little stuff that's on the wall. Um, you know, I got stuff back there that's on the wall. That TV, I got to get rid of it because Jamari took a, a hockey stick to it and it don't work no more. Mm. I don't need it anyway, though, so it's okay. Um, I got to take that picture down right there um so yeah uh i'm gonna go ahead and get started uh because i i and this is what i do i've always moved this way i like to start well in advance and I'm, my, move, my move date is uh, the first part of July. Um, so, I always have everything done. So, 
when moving day comes, only thing I have to do is make sure the little stuff is taken care of, which is the hardest part of moving, in my opinion. The big stuff takes care of itself. So that's why do, during this whole time that I've been here, and even before when I wasn't going to move, I like to keep clutter down to a minimum because you never know when you might decide you want to move or when you got to hurry up and move or whatever. So um, I've always been that way. So this is going to be pretty easy for me. Um, I tell you, everything, it feels like a dream. It's so surreal. Like, from, from, from getting the car to everything. Everything is just like, he's not giving me time to process it because <laughs> he's like, I, I had you the whole time. You asked me for what you want, I'm giving it to you. Did you not, did you not think I was going to come through? <laughs> So that's that's how I'm feeling right now, guys. I'm so full. I'm so full. And I found out at work that, um, and I knew I was going to get approved. I wasn't really worried about that because my credit is it's in good shape. I worked hard on it, and, and yeah, she's in good shape, honey. Um, and that's all, that's all God. Ain't, ain't had nothing to do with me. I, I'm, I, he working through me, okay, it, it's not me, I can't take the credit, he is doing everything, putting everything in place, <sighs> so yeah, so I'm going to, um, like I said, do this whole process with you guys, or you'll do it with me, if you want to come and help, you can. I'm not opposed to it. I'm not opposed to getting some help over the hell, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm I'm so excited. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna actually go and look at it. I found the apartment on rent.com, and that was that was crazy too. Cause soon as I clicked on rent.com and put in the city I wanted to move to it was the first complex it was the very first and I looked through other complexes but when I clicked on that one it was like huh, this is the one right here this and 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 guys I was going to buy a house. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to buy a house, but things kept happening. Like first the pandemic happened, right? And then um what happened after that? Something happened. And I can't remember what it was right now. But um as much work as I did on my credit, and I, she's at seven, um, because I had I had two late payments on one of my credit cards. I tried to reach out to them and see if they would take it off, but they won't take it off. And you guys know how um, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, all the scores are different. So uh, when the loan officer pulled, um, he did a soft pull. When he did that soft pull, um, he told me to call him. That's like the doctor calling saying, um, I need you to sit down. We got some bad news. <laughs> so um, he said, well, the, the two months that you were late on the um, credit card is hurting you and I'm like but that was like last year why is that even an issue so 
it was that and then it was um, I closed one uh, credit card account I did that on my own I did that last year he said that's hurting you too and there was one other credit card that I did not use and the company closed it because they said it was due to inactivity so I'm like okay um, so he said that's hurting me as well so I figured all these things that was three things right in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Ghost I figured that that was God saying no and I kind of figured that anyway even when I started the process because I always said that when I buy a home I want to buy that home with my husband and I think I found him too y'all low key um <laughs> I told you God is doing some things over here girl um and so, I always had that feeling like, okay, no, you can buy a home by yourself. I did that when I was 26. Um, but, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do something like that by myself again. Um, so, I feel like that that was him, that was God saying, no, that's not the way I want you to do that. So, it, it, because, and I feel like that because anytime something is meant to be, it's going to go through without, without having to push it, without forcing it. And so, I kept having to force things with the house. So, I'm like, oh, he probably, he probably, he ain't going to say yes to that one. So when, when the apartment situation came, after I talked to the loan officer, I was just like, okay, that's, that's it. Let me just go ahead and um, get an apartment and just go from there. And before I did that, my schedule changed at work. And we had a shift bid. We weren't supposed to have a shift bid. We did a shift bid since we've been back to work. So we did the shift bid and I picked the schedule. And I was like, what are you doing? Because you don't have anybody to watch the kids that early in the morning. He said, don't worry about it. Just do what I asked you to do. And I had already done it because at this point, I'm just, okay, whatever the Lord say, that's what I'm going to do. And, um... So that happened, and then that's when I moved forward with the apartment after I talked to the loan officer. And um, it's just, it's amazing. You know, God is so awesome. We ask for things. He will give us what we need, not what we want. Even with the car, I wanted the 2017 because I didn't. Want, I wasn't asking for a new vehicle, but God said, "No, you've been obedient, so I'm gonna bless you with this new vehicle because you gonna need it because you gotta drive to work." Whew. If you have any doubt, this message. It, it, in this video if you have any doubt whatsoever no matter what it is no matter what it is give it to God and I know that's so easy easy said than done but it's really not it's really not all you got to do is just talk to yourself even if you have to talk to yourself outside you know out loud and that's what I've been doing. Me and God, we've been having conversations up in here, okay? And, and uh, he'll say, no, I told you to do so-and-so. And I'll be like, okay, Father, I'll do it. Like that. It's seriously, it's like that. And it's just, please, my fancy beauties and bowls.
just just give it over to him. Just give it to him. He going to take care of you like nobody on this earth can take care of you. Better than your mother and your father, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your niece, your nephew, your aunt and uncle, your best friend, your husband, your wife. He going to treat you better because he, he, you put him first. Put him first. <sighs> Y'all, let me get off of here. But just know from here on out, I will take you through the process of me packing at least as much as I can. Like if I pack without filming, I will come back and be like, okay, well, this is what I did, blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to try to capture everything so that you can see how I'm doing it. Um, and then maybe, you know, something I do will help you when you get ready to move or whatever. But, um... I just, I had to come on here and I had to share this with you all. I've sh I've shared bad things. I've shared not so bad things. I've sh shared good things. I, I want to share everything with you all. Um, because you're, you're my family. Like seriously. So, yeah. So let me um, do that. Y'all stay fa fancy. Stay positive. Stay focused on God. Stay with Him throughout everything. I know some of you guys are still probably on furlough during this pandemic. Um, stay inside and stay safe. And just stay faithful to God. And He's going to take care of you. I promise you He will. All right, until next time, y'all. I love you. And we moving. Moving, moving, moving. Moving, moving, moving.